I gotta motivate any of my boys, this ain't for you. Hey YouTube, glad to see you again. It's been a while. Um, not doing much running right now. Ran across a very big rattlesnake on some of the property that I run on, and uh, that kind of set me back a little bit. I always do that. I run up until that point. I see a snake, or in the past years, unfortunately, get one bitten. Then I kind of lay back. It's um, the first of July. July, August, September are not not great times to run a dog down here in Alabama. But let's talk about this video that I have um, that you guys will be seeing right after this. Um, I just want to reflect on some of the, the techniques and the, the, the way that I go about doing things um, when it comes to training certain dogs. Now, I can assure you, I can sit up here for 24 hours and talk just about training dogs because is no one way to do it. But for 40 plus years, I've been dealing with dogs. So I have gone through a lot. Um, that is the key, if you ask me. You can start something and get five years of knowledge, 10 years of knowledge, and be successful. But after 40 something years of doing this, I can assure you that I've seen quite a bit. Um, I consider myself a, a very good trainer because I've taken dogs that were wept in my, you know, kennel and produced them to be very, very good, good rabbit dogs. And that's before I even, and before I established a kennel, uh, my upbringing was, you know, get my five dogs and go hunting every, every evening after I got off the bus doing, doing hunting season. So it was like, I was a one man game for pretty much my childhood. I grew up, grew up on the outskirts of the city. So I didn't come home and get with a group of guys and play, you know, basketball. I didn't do those things. I, I was on a lake or I was in the woods. Um, and, and the, the knowledge that I gained from just from that time to now, you know, is a quite a bit. So what I found out and what I want to convey to you, you guys today is that you train according to what you're trying to achieve. Um, I always emphasize I want a dog that will do it. I don't have to encourage him. I don't have to, you know, talk him up. I don't have to amp him up to make him hunt. Um, and what I've found over the years is that depending on how well that dog is bred, you know, that dictates what you're getting as far as how he would respond in the field. You know, um, I've had those dogs that were kind of lackadaisical when it came to hunting, um, walked around and pretty much didn't run. You know, that dog don't fit my personality. I'm, I'm, I'm an athlete. Um, I play football. I, I can play any sport. Um, not too good at basketball because like I said, you know, I, I didn't do that coming up. But when I was old enough to play football and baseball, I did that and I was pretty exceptional in it. But um, when it comes to dogs, I want that dog to kind of reflect my personality. So I like I like a strong will, strong minded dog, um, a dog that I don't have to amp up, a dog that already has it. And you can see that at a very early age when you're dealing with dogs. Um, and I had to go through tons of dogs. So. To you guys out there that don't have that dog right now, or you look at your pack and say, my dogs don't hunt the way I want them to hunt, um, you have options. You, you have to make some serious decisions on what do you want and what are you allowing yourself to be pleased with. If you're happy with them, if they get in those bushes and they run a rabbit, bring them back to the gun. If that's good enough for you, so be it. You don't, you don't necessarily need anything other than what you desire. But I desire what I consider the very best, you know, attributes that a dog should have. I want to be able to jump a rabbit and I want to be able to lock onto a track. So with me wanting those things, 
I'm eliminating the dog that just can run a rabbit real good or the dog that really is just a jump dog. You know, people talk about, I have a jump dog in my pack. I want all of my dogs to be jump dogs, not in the sense of a certified jump dog, because for you guys out there that know what that is, that's a special creature. That dog can pretty much make a rabbit when there's not one. So we're talking about dogs that hunt real hard and have the potential based on them hunting and going through the stuff that a rabbit lives in. He has the ability and the potential to become a jump dog or jump a bunch of rabbits. And that's what it, that's the first thing it takes when it comes to running one. You have to get him out of that bed. So, uh, but guys, at the end of the day, there's so many different tactics out there. Um, I understand the, the talking up. I understand all of that. I did that as a, you know, as a child. That's how I was taught. You know, we talk to our dogs a lot. But when it comes to hunting, you can get away with that more because you may want your dogs to be in close proximity to you. Uh, you may want to call them over and put them in a brush pile or put them under a brush top um, and so on and so forth. But when it comes to trialing, we're not allowed to to talk to our dogs we have to turn that dog over to a handler so that dog needs to be already understanding what his job is because if he's looking for me to get in here get in here or show him where the line is you know we can't do that so i tend not to train them like that so i have different tactics that i'll use when it comes to my my trial dogs and, and also when it comes to a group of dogs that I want to put in a pack and run rabbits with. So it can vary slightly. Um, I pretty much kind of stay consistent, very, very little change in, in how I approach it. But I can assure you, I understand all those other ways of doing it. I understand um, how to take a puppy when I didn't have a running pen or a training pen and progress him on daily. And it takes getting out there every day let him progress a little bit further every day he gets more confidence with the world around him puppies are are, are kind of apprehensive about leaving you because you're their safety net but as they get bolder and bolder um they'll start venturing out um and like i said if the blood is right you'll see it at a very early age it doesn't require a whole bunch of work um and 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 likewise, if, if it's not in them, I don't care how much you put into them, you won't get that out. You know, you won't get that aspect of what I consider is, is, is very critical in being a very good rabbit dog. So guys, lay back, check this next video out. It's T-Bone. Um, he's 11 month old right now. Like I said, I've had him out in the wild already. I've shocked him off of deer. I know that's not the end of it because I only had one opportunity to do that. But right now I'm focusing on him getting to be very, very confident and take a line by himself and really, really pound it. And he shows signs of doing that. Um, and he's done it. I've already seen him do it. Um, so I'm not surprised that he can do it. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure he will circle a rabbit um, in the right setting. But I'm in a training pen. I had to go out of town and I just picked him up because I was going by this location. And I said, well, being that I'm going on out of town and I have to pass right by there, I'll drop him and um, let him get a little run time. So check him out. And uh, any questions, guys, let me know. I I'll try to address them. And again, if it comes out of my mouth, you can bank on it. I've, I've lived it or I've researched it to the point that I feel like I can say it again because my ultimate goal is to help you guys out there that's that's needing and wanting to know how to you know train a dog you know go about it and try to eliminate the things that's not necessary or making mistakes that you can't rebound from so hang in there check him out somebody here with my little buddy like i said i was gonna do uh Let's give him a lot of solo time uh but guys i want you all to know that it requires uh, not only solo time you have to pack these dogs so my um i guess ratio would be pretty much three to one 
I'll, I'll get him out here three times by himself. Come on, boy. Come on, T-Bone. That leg out of there. I'll get him out here and uh, I'll put him out here three times by himself, three to four times by himself, and then I'll put him with um, another dog or a group of dogs. So, but I just want him to, you know, work on his skills of being able to do it all by himself. So I'm gonna cut him loose. I'm gonna keep the camera going and we gonna uh, see what he's gonna do today. Let's go, boy. Let's go. Again, folks, I don't have to do a bunch of talking, like I said. Uh, that comes with the bloodline. A good breeding program produce dogs that that just go and do what they're supposed to do. You know, that's the only dog I want. I don't want a dog that I have to do a whole bunch of encouraging. One of the main reasons is I, I'm a trialer as well as a hunter. And in field trials, you're not allowed to coast your dog or to call them. You have a stranger handling those dogs. So they need to be self-motivated. Rabbit just shot out right there. You should pick it up. Just shot out right there. He's not, he's not opening up unnecessarily. He's only right there, right there. That's where he went. That's where he went, yo. Should be. That's it. That's what you want a dog to do. We're gonna stay in this thick little head. So he's got a lot of tough stuff to run through. It is very, very thick. A lot of lay downs. Okay, there's a rabbit right there, y'all. y'all this is what they get when they run by themselves they figure it all out they have to figure that where that line is um, young dogs special powerful dogs they have a tendency to try to overrun but he's gonna have to figure out everything by himself This rabbit's going back and forth, y'all. It's doing everything I ask. As you can see, right over here, we have a lot of, there he is. What did he do? Okay. Ran down that lane and he 
did something. He's gonna learn to come back to the point of loss. That's major. Okay. Okay. He's on the line where he went down. Where did he go? Where did he go? I'm not trying to tell him anything. He's gonna have to do this by himself. Learn the tricks of the trade. Okay, might have want to cross that field. <laughs> I didn't see you back there. <laughs> Good. How you making it? That's what he's saying. He young and all over the place, but uh, that's what he's saying. I got some insect propellant up there. You got any? Oh, yeah. I need you to hit my back because they hit me on the back, Miss. You want it on your shirt? Yeah, all over. Yeah, ones. just wherever. How about that? That'll be, that's perfect. Thank you. Give me more long sleeves. I don't want them crows rafted over here. That's where he went, Miss Donald. He went across. Take him out, buddy. Take him on across there. Going to him, y'all. All oh, by itself.
Folks, it's 12 o'clock, midday, 91 degrees. That's how you get the best out of them. It's in here somewhere. Put him up for a second. He's been on that same rabbit for about 20 minutes, so give him a break. All right, buddy, you did good.